Did you know you can go from this to this with a slider? That's right, you can create a parallax effect using the slider in After Effects. How you say? Well, let me show you. Before we get into it, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so I won't miss you. Okay, so what is a parallax effect in the first place? It's the displacement of an object due to change in viewpoints. Kinda like this. When you move, you're going to see objects move as well in respect to how far they are to you. And whatever is closer to you will move faster and whatever is farther away will move much, much, much slower. In fact, you've probably already seen this effect in video games and animations. It gives your scene lots of dynamic and makes things more three-dimensional. Let's jump into After Effects to see how this all works. Here's a realistic depiction of an egg on a trampoline. And a red. Let's have a look at our layers. In this comp, we have the sky, the mountains in the distance, the hot dog, the buns, our trampoline layer, the main talent, which is the egg, and a foreground lettuce layer. I've also numbered the layers based on how far they are. Six being the farthest, zero is the egg, and negative one is the foreground lettuce layer. Let's create a null layer and name it control. Now we're gonna bring in a slider and name it parallax. Since our character is jumping up and down, we want a vertical parallax. So I'll separate the dimensions of each layer since we're only gonna be using the Y position. Click on the lock here to keep the effects panel focused on our parallax slider. And we're gonna hold the option or alt key and click on the stopwatch as well. Type in value as in whatever the Y position of this layer is, plus the slider value. This means that whenever we move this slider, its value will be added to the Y position of this layer. Now we'll add times 2, so the value from our slider will be doubled and added to the current Y position value. But why are we doing all of this? Because we want the layers to move at different speeds when we change the slider value, which is key to the parallax effect. We'll copy and paste it to the next layer, and to increase the change in Y position, we'll multiply it by 5, so it moves even faster. We'll continue to do this for the other layers and increase its multiplication so that by the time we reach the foreground layer, it has the highest multiple and moves the fastest. Let's see how it looks. Now we can keyframe the slider here, or even better, link it to our character's Y position value so that when the character moves, the parallax automatically works too. Hold Option or Alt key and click on the stopwatch. Type in value, as in the value we give the slider, minus the Y position of our character. This messes up everything cause the value is just too high. To lower it down, we'll multiply it by 0.025. You may notice the starting position is a little off here, so we're gonna fix this by changing the value to its opposite. So we have negative 18 here, and we're gonna change the slider value to 18 instead. This way the layers are in the correct position, and the slider value will be 0. Now whenever we move our character vertically, the parallax just simply works, and you can even add keyframes to animate it. If you're in a hurry and prefer to use a template to get you started, I've included a link to a template project file in the description. You can download it for free and take a closer look. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Whoa, 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 whoa. where's the egg? Like and subscribe! Whoa, how did you get here? Like and subscribe!